Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Welcome, so glad to have you here at my channel. This is day 28 of the January Creative Prompts. I hope that you've been enjoying these all month long. Do check the description box below to links to my blog as well as my Facebook page and the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group where you can share your take on the daily prompts. These were created by Robin Finnessy who is one of the administrators of of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. I am blessed to have her in my life and thankful that she was able to create these prompts for us. So today we are to create a journal page using at least, let's see, where is it? We are to create a journal page based off the word encouragement. Write about things that encourage you or how you could encourage others. So I just grabbed a few supplies here and I've even got a stencil, so let's get started. I've got a scrap of a book page. This may be, I don't know if this is from the thesaurus, maybe from a book, a dictionary or something like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I want to alter this color. I'm going to do that by spraying it with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. So I'm going to lay it into my spray box here. Just kind of flip over my paper so I can get a new. And then I'm going to grab the Radiant Red Tattered Angels. I have this available in my shop. It's a custom color that was made for the Radiant Red uh, Creative Rainbow Cut that I have in my shop. I only have a few of those left, but I have a few bottles of the Tattered Angels. So I'm going to spritz this onto this book page, altering that color. Now it's going to curl up a little bit because it's a thin book page, and I'm okay with that. I just want to alter that color. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this really fast. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply some Distress Inks around the edges. So I've just got the Walnut Stain Distress Ink. Mine is faded in color, so it's kind of hard to see, I think, because I used to store my dauber on top. I've also got a couple other pieces of paper here, so I'm going to go ahead and go around those as well. I'm going to move all these out of the way. The next thing I want to do is I've got a stencil here. I'm going to grab a piece of paper to put on this journal page and I'm going to grab another scrap to put under my page. I could take it out of my journal but this is for those of you that maybe yours is bound and you can't take it out. Well, save your surface by adding a few pieces of paper underneath and then that will help you in keeping your other pages from getting dirty. I've got a blending tool and I've got fire brick distress ink. This is also handy if you want to use a stencil but you don't want to have a wet spray medium. I could use tattered angels but I don't want it to spray everywhere and I don't want it to bleed through my page. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of color on here and let's add some texture. This is the see what is this? January 2020 artistic stencil club stencil it is the heart tile from the set you get a set of four different stencil designs on three stencil pages so this is a great way to add stencils to your uh, stash if you need a few stencils All right that added a little bit of color to our page so i'm gonna move this out of the way i'll clean my brush later i've got an image from the Calico Collage Radiant Red. This is a kit that's in my shop. This is a dictionary or thesaurus uh, page that I have cut out. And since we were supposed to use encouragement, I went ahead and did encourage and encouragement. I'm gonna glue these together. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. I think I'm gonna put these up here like that. And then this red piece, I'm gonna put at the bottom of my page here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Now I've got a little area up here that's kind of blank and I on the other side use some washi tape. So I'm going to get out my washi tape again and I think what I'm going to do is kind of start it over just a little bit and then go this way to add a little more design to the page. And I know this is going to go up here and that's going to go there. Then I've got this little piece that's going to go down here. So I'm going to put some more washi tape over here on this side, maybe. Let's see. Do I want to go that way or this way? I'm going to go across the bottom. If you don't have washi tape, you could use a 
paintbrush and paint a black line on here. You could cut a piece of paper. You could use ribbon and glue that down. So don't think that you have to have exact supplies like I have. Just see what you have in your stash that you can kind of play around with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of these pieces down. I like the way that looks. Isn't that really cool? All right, so now I'm going to write about encouragement. So it was write about things that encourage you or how you could encourage others. So I think this is going to be pretty easy for me. So I'm going to write this and I'll be right back. My journal page is complete. Again, January 28th, the prompt was to word, use the word encouragement and then to write about either something that encourages me or how I can encourage others. And here's what I wrote. In my videos, I do my best to share ideas to encourage others to create. We are all creative. We just need guidance and encouragement to give things a try. And I hope that you are encouraged to give it a go. Try some of these journal prompts right in your journals and see if it doesn't free you up a little bit and help you get those creative juices going. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, comment if you have any questions. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And again, check the description box below for links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, my blog, as well as any products that I share. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.